we can all have our fears, rational or irrational. We can see a car hurtling towards us as we're cross crossing the road. And this is going to be a rational fear of pain, of death, which is hopefully going to kick your body into the mode, survival mode, where you're going to run away from the danger. However, sometimes we can freeze in the face of danger. So we can have very rational fears. We can also have what seem like rational fears, but are usually irrational fears, often caused by something in our past where we went into that survival mechanism and that fear remains within us. And then we have to overstep that fear. We can have a fear when we're simply going for a job interview. It can cause those nerves. And we sometimes have to swap those nerves of fear into nerves of excitement to get us through the experience. When it comes to people in general, we can all have our fears. Narcissistic people tend to have several fears which creates the desire within them to treat others in the way that they do in order to protect themselves. Narcissistic people have a cluster of traits from that grandiose sense of self-importance to their self-centeredness, their willingness to exploit people, their lack of empathy to care about people, their sense of entitlement requiring that excessive admiration and attention. And it's usually to cover up their own fragile self-esteem that they don't want to admit to because to them they're perfect and anything that goes wrong is everybody else's fault, which is why they never work on themselves and never change. What a narcissist will do is project their fears onto you in a kind of, look, see, it's not me, it's you. Or, well, I'm normal because they fear it too. They project their fears into you also as a way of controlling you, controlling your emotions, controlling your behaviour to suit them. And one of the first things a narcissist fears is other people's success, other people's happiness, other people doing well, other people doing better than them. This isn't any form of healthy competition. This is their envy, where they are bitterly jealous of other people and they go all out to destroy other people or to take what they're envious of from other people. However, they'll go all out to provoke jealousy within you. So it matches the story within their mind that other people are jealous of them, that other people are envious of them, which is why the grandiose narcissist can go all out splashing the cash if they've got the cash to splash, to buy the best house, the best car, not for themselves to show off to other people why they will exaggerate and lie and about their achievements and places they've been, why they will flirt with somebody in front of you and then just accuse you of having trust issues or being jealous. So they're going to provoke feelings of jealousy within you so that you feel like the jealous one, the envious one. Jealousy is a common emotion. More often than not, genuine people can still be pleased for the other person and recognise, ah, I'd really like that for myself can I achieve it in some way or can I settle for something else and they work through it narcissistic people seek to destroy it for other people take it from other people believe other people have all the luck and stole it from them isolation narcissistic people fear social isolation they crave that attention and that validation they can't stand being alone for too long they need supply from somewhere yet they go all out to manipulate others into being dependent on them they go all out to isolate people from their friends and family accusing their family of interfering too much claiming they don't trust that friend of theirs they isolate people from financial resources they strip people of their confidence and ability to think for themselves. So they go all out to isolate people from others so that the narcissist 
has the constant presence of that person within their life. So narcissistic people fear isolation, however, they'll happily go all out to isolate you. What you'll often notice is with genuine people with their own fears, they don't want somebody to struggle through that same fear that they have. They want to help other people. Narcissistic people enjoy seeing other people suffer. Rejection and abandonment. Rejection is not particularly a pleasant thing. We can go for that job interview and not get the job. It's not nice. We can question what was wrong with us. Why weren't we good enough for the job? Narcissistic believe that somebody else stole it from them. Someone else lied and cheated, usually because that's what narcissistic people do. Abandonment's not particularly pleasant. And a narcissistic person fears rejection, fears abandonment, which is why they criticise and mock you and get it so you don't feel like you have an ability to have your own opinion, to be able to think for yourself. They reject you, they withhold attention, affection and support from you to get you craving more and chasing after them. They will happily threaten to abandon you and as they've already isolated you from everything, that fear of abandonment becomes very real for you, not recognising that actually you will be better off without them around you. Narcissistic people shield themselves by creating that fear of rejection and abandonment within you and they will happily go all out to discard you when they see something shiny and new. Criticism and humiliation. Neither are nice to experience. And a narcissist will go all out to criticise you, humiliate you, mock you, judge you, blame you, shame you. So we know in ourselves that's not nice. And they project that onto us. We then fear voicing our opinion for fear of being humiliated or shamed or mocked or when around a narcissistic person as they fear that criticism they seek to pull everybody else down first they're very fearful of the ridicule they don't want to be belittled however they'll happily ridicule you they'll happily belittle you so you begin to hide who you are as a person for fear of reactions from who they are as a person failure Failure is not a nice thing. It's not nice to fail. We do have to recognise that failure is our first attempt in learning. With a narcissist, for them to fail, that threatens their carefully crafted, self-serving, grandiose image that they've sold to those around them. So they go all out to project their fear, fear of failure onto you. They will set you up to fail. They will have unreasonable expectations and demands of you. They want to make you feel incompetent. They want to make you feel inadequate. They want to get you to strive to improve, to serve them because then they can feel superior to you. Any failures, mistakes or wrongdoings that they make, they'll simply pass the blame over to you. So you fear being yourself for fear of criticism, for fear of failure from the narcissist. Loss of control. Most people who have been around a narcissist know it's not pleasant to lose control of who you are as a person, to act in ways you don't like about yourself, to lose your emotions. Most people who have been around a narcissist don't like the uncertainty that they deliver to you. When it comes to a narcissistic person, they have an intense desire to control those around them. It's usually that desire of control that leads them to their manipulative games such as gaslighting, blame shifting, projection, triangulation, silent treatments, isolation, threats and intimidation. It's a defence mechanism. They don't want to lose control. However, they will push and prod and poke away at you until you lose control in front of them and then they'll stand there and say what's wrong with you.
or they will up and leave and abandon you with no word of warning. So your whole life has just been driven into a mass amount of uncertainty because your past is all confused your present is not what you thought it was going to be and you've no idea where you're going in your future now because they've just stopped and abandoned you and that gives you a sense of a loss of control a loss of attention narcissistic people require that attention and validation to support their self-esteem to protect their ego to protect their fragile self-esteem attention duration validation fuels their self-worth it sustains their self-image so to a narcissist it's, it's very daunting to lose that attention however they will go all out to shower you with attention affection and support and then when things aren't going their way they will withdraw from you they will hold the attention affection and support they will create those feelings within you so that you go chasing after them they'll fall silent on you and you go chasing after them for the communication if you don't chase after them they get offended if you chase after them they get offended you cannot win they shower you to take it away from you it's that reward punishment they are conditioning you to become dependent on them they will mock and judge and humiliate the way you dress the way you do your hair the way you speak their arrogance they will go all out to make you feel inadequate, to make you feel inferior, to get you to dress and speak and do as they please and then they'll praise you, they'll give you that attention. They're playing games with your emotions so that they can remain in control. So narcissistic people do fear other people doing better than, than themselves. They fear that social isolation. They fear rejection and abandonment. They fear criticism and humiliation. They feel fear failure and loss of control. They fear losing that attention and admiration. Yet they will go all out to make their worst fears come true for you. So you're the one that questions yourself and not their behaviour towards you. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have two books out on Amazon. One is a narcissist handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse. And the other is 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go no contact, which I shall add the links to those in the description also. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.